again my lovelies, Susie here, um, sharing with you this time um, two albums um, made with um, a couple of paper packs. Um, these I did not make from scratch, I just decorated them. Um, and they came uh, like this. This is the 6x6 um, scrapbook um, hardback containing 50 sheets um, of 200 GSM cardstock within um, and it cost me a whole two pounds and this is the 8x8 um, similar again with 50 sheets uh, within a craft card and a nice hardback um, chipboard cover and this cost three pounds so I decided to buy quite a few of them um, and use up some of the paper that's been lying in my stash for a long long time so let's go through and I'll show you what I've done with them. Um, first of all, I, I used uh, these fabulous papers um, called Mambi Sheets. Um, and I think they're American Crafts. I'm not 100% sure. But they've been in my stash for a long, long time. Um, and 12 by 12, they come with lots of fabulous um Foiled and glittered um, sheets inside, and of course, lots of lovely uh, cutter parts. Um, they're not all foiled, um, some of them are very plain um, and just glittered at the bottom, such as this large Hello Beautiful, which I've not got around to using yet because I haven't done a 12 by 12. But these are just some of the, the designs. Um, that you'll find inside. Um, I flip through. And these are fabulous for journaling and um, various other bits and bobs. That's the pa one of the paper pads that I used on um, the 8x8 and I also used some uh, textured gold card um, for, for um, matting and layering. Put that over there. I also used for the smaller album um, some of these um, Ducrass Paper Mania papers. Um, they're gold foiled. They come in black and silver. Black and gold. Silver and white. Uh, Grey and gold and gold. Um, and they, they are actually very pretty. But I've had them in my staff for a long time, so I needed to use them up. So we'll start off with the 6x6. Now I took out, there was 50 sheets in here. Um, and there's no way that you could decorate them and keep all the sheets in. So I initially glued two sheets together um, and cut the rest away. And used the rest of the paper for matting and layering, for tags, for little booklets. Um, so this has been quite fun to do. Um, the inside cover, again, it's just a, a side pocket with two very large tags. And I've used some of the pretty paper. Um, this gold slice here is washi tape which I got, this is the washi tape here, um, if I bring it up, whoops, oh dear me, you'll see how, how thin it is, um, I've used that to edge off some of the, the pockets and some of the little booklets, um, and I'll just flip through and show you them, this is a belly band, and a stopper at the bottom and again with a little booklet which is holds some photographs 
another pop kit and I've used one of my um, eyes to create the the feature on the pocket and again some gold washi tape another little booklet same pocket style um, with the booklet there's going to be lots and lots and lots of places for you to um, add pictures and um, other bits and bobs and again this is the lilac uh, washi tape that I used um, for this one to match in with the paper it's a large photo mount and again it's just a side pocket. Uh, this is the Do Crafts uh, foiled gold and white paper um, and again I created a little booklet, washi tape, large tag um, and a large photo mat and again a belly band and a stopper at the bottom to stop them falling out. Over here we have a side pocket, and again this is the Do Crafts one. Um, and some lovely um, tags to match in. Another belly band with a stopper, um, large photo mount. Small booklet with a pocket, side pocket with tags. I've left this one very plain because I think that would look fabulous with a, a, a nice squared off photograph on it. And again, three little um, tiny tags this time with the booklet for pictures. But again, you can journal on at these ones. I'll put this in the back pocket. And this is the little front pocket that I made to hold the tags. back, the front, and this is one of the, um, the cutouts and it says life is good. The ribbon came with the book and I think that's a fabulous value for £2 um, considering I've used papers um, and tags that I already had in my stash. So that's the 6x6 six six, and the 8x8 eight eight, slightly different. I've only used um, Mambi sheets on this one along with um, some textured uh, gold matte uh, cardstock for mounting and layering. Um, your sparkle and shine is my front. I've used a brown um, cross grain ribbon to hold it. I took the black ribbon off because it, it just wouldn't match in with what I was doing. So I added this um, lovely uh, cross grain ribbon. I open it up. We have a belly band um, with the booklet to add some nice pictures. Move across and I've cut some of these down to make them different sizes um, but again we only have one two oops three four five six pages but they hold a lot um, a mat and layer and, um, into a pocket turn it over these all have incisions where you could add more um, photographs in. Have a small side pocket with um, a photograph mount. Pocket with a large um, photograph mount. We have a side pocket here, um, and it one of these is, is the cut part, which says "You are awesome," and we just have quite a, a plain photo mount on that one. This particular page I have added in um, pockets at the side so that you can add bits and bobs in and it's a magnetic closure. The tag in it you could add nice big photographs on here. 
And if we turn this over, I've just mirrored this one. So as it opens up, you do have a tag um, slot in here, which I haven't added the tag, but I will. And again, it's a magnetic closure. Room for a picture here, picture here, picture here, and some journaling cards. Moving across, I made this a uh, flip up and a flip down um, pocket. I love this, this paper here where it says shine. You can have a photograph here, a large photograph here. It closes up for journaling um, and it closes down. You could also add a photograph here. And that's black um, glittery tape which is this one here. Turn it over. I've kept this one very plain because it's lovely uh, heading. Happiness is you and me. So there'll be room for a nice photograph there. This one is just a pocket with a large photograph mount. Um, you can choose it either way. Across again another pocket, and the last page mirrors front page with a booklet. Time with a bit different paper on it, and plenty of room in the back for journaling, and that slips back in, and it all closes up nicely with this lovely big uh, cross grain ribbon. I think that's a, a fabulous um, album for a few pounds, considering that all the, the papers were already here in my stash, and I'm sure we have all got papers that we just don't get around to using. Um, so maybe that's an idea for you to start using up your papers, buying these cute little albums, which are very reasonably priced. Um, they come from the works, and I think I got this one from Memory Serves Me Right. It could have been, I can't remember now. Uh, oh, oh, my dear. These are available in most places. I think it was Hobby Hobbycraft. That's it, Hobbycraft and the works. So, another little um, video for you to get some, maybe some ideas from. But um, I'll say cheerio for now and we'll chat again soon. Bye.